Thank you for staying with KTN Prime. Now, it is common to hear that Kenyans abroad are shining in areas like medicine and teaching, if not working, doing consultancy or investing in real estate. But there is a Kenyan who has taken daring abroad to a whole new level. Willie Kadurima is one of the best commercial beef farmers in Botswana. So just what motivated him to travel down south all the way, at least 4,000 kilometers away from home, to look after cattle? Our special correspondent, Alex Chamwada, has more on daring abroad. We are driving on the Trans-Kalahari Highway that runs across the southern section of Botswana. It links South Africa, Botswana and Namibia, thus opening up trade and tourist routes in the southern region. We are headed to Willy Kathurima's ranch as he keeps us informed about what makes Botswana tick. This country is really known for the best beef in the world, Botswana. It's organic. This highway divides Kathurima's ranch into two. From the beginning to the end of the ranch, one has to drive a stretch of 10 kilometers on the right and 9 kilometers on the left. It's an EU registered farm. Among us, the very few farms in the country of Botswana. Um, How big is it, it? The farm is about 9,000 hectares. In terms of acreage, you multiply that by 2.4, is about uh, 22,000 acres. We arrive at the first kraal or camp where the cattle rest. The ranch has five of them. Good. So what you are seeing here are bullocks. bullocks. And uh, these are ready for the market, either a Botswana Meat Commission or individual people buying bulls for production, for breeding their cattle. Um, the white one here is what is called a Charlie. This is a Charlie small bull. Uh, this one is a cementa little bull. The ranch is divided into 12 grazing areas known as paddocks. Here, Kathurima interacts with his workers. He now speaks pure Setswana, the local language. <laughs> yeah. Kathurima takes us to the next camp to show us a breed that may be familiar to you. White Brahman, which looks more like Boran. You um, said it's the most popular in Botswana. Exactly. It can withstand drought. It walks long distances. It's got a good frame. Now, in this country, livestock is the second most important resource after diamonds. It is the single source of rural income with over 50% of all rural households owning cattle and most people practice communal grazing, but Kathurima is among the large commercial farmers. We sell three times a year. Tollis, that is the male uh, bullocks, which are taken to the feedlots for Botswana Meat Commission, or the feedlots that I associate with in Botswana, and they eventually convey this beef to Europe, to South Africa, to Asia, and other markets. Then we have the sale of the female heifers. These are the cattle that are sold before they can be mated by a bull. That is actually one of our biggest sales because a lot of new farmers and existing farmers who want to improve their breed would come to our farm to buy heifers and bulls to change their cattle. A bull that is preserved for breeding is a gem, Kathurima says. To convince him to sell this one to you, you would part with 40,000 pula in local currency, which is equivalent to about 400,000 Kenya shillings, 
One puller is equal to about 10 Kenya shillings. That to probably I'll get about uh, 7,000 puller. Our uh, main feed uh, comes from the grass. And we release them to go and graze in the field. And then in the crawls we just uh, supplement them with uh, the calcium, molasses powder and salt combined. We are also plowing maize which we grind and mix with the rest of the feed to give them to our cattle. So how did Kathurima begin? I started in a very humble situation where I started in a cattle post with eight cattle in a communal grazing area. Today we are talking of a thousand head of cattle because of resilience, because of approach and knowing that you have a vision, not what? just thinking about having a thousand head of cattle within two months. One may say you succeeded because you are a citizen of uh, Botswana. Probably if you are not, if you had not acquired citizenship, you would not. Is that the case? On the contrary, I did not succeed because I'm a citizen of Botswana. I became a citizen of Botswana because I was successful. I would not have been allowed to become a citizen of this country if I had not provided employment, if I had not invested sufficiently. I listened to elders, I listened, I got mentors, and I followed the procedure, the laws of this country. Why didn't you continue doing it while retaining Kenyan citizenship? Did you have to change citizenship? It did not. What the reason that? why I got citizenship is not for economic purposes. I realized that I will be spending most of my life here. My family is born and bred in this country. This is the country I've known in my maturity. Chinda Yasisi Kua Kenya Nikama Tunataka Kukope Ville to Mefanya Hapa. Akuna Arti Kule. Ambayo inaweza tosha hivi. Lakini tukipatua ata eka mia moja. Tunaweza fanya, tengeneza, na kufaulu kama una, unaona hapa. Ukipewa chamba hili unataka kiasi utaenda? Sio kupewa. Yeah. Okay. Kununua? Kununua. Nikipata hiyo nafasi, mimi vile tunawezo hapa na watu wangu. Tunaweza kufanya kazi kushinda ambayo unaona hapa. Willy Kathurima is the brother of Kenya's renowned diplomat and former chief of protocol in retired President Daniel Arap Moy's administration, Hari Mutuma Kathurima. <laughs> Apart from beef farming, Willy has invested heavily in the property sector. He left Kenya in 1984 with Zambia being his first destination. There he earned a living as a private valuer. He relocated to Botswana in 1987 to work for the government as a land economist. In 1990, he formed his own company, Willy Kathurima Associates, to undertake business in real estate. He became a citizen of Botswana in 2002. I'm married to Doreen uh, Muindwa Kathurima, who is originally from Zambia. She's a citizen of Botswana. I have uh, three children, two boys and a daughter. Let's do a reverse. What's the impact of what you are doing back home, your home country, Kenya? Don't forget that uh, having been born in Kenya, I did not carry my entire relatives and families and friends to Botswana. But I do assist officially as it's a procedure. Uh, my family and uh, investments uh, that are out there. And uh, we've seen a uh, cash flow into uh, that nation that we love very much. Of course, I've had several visitations by various personalities from Kenya. Are you here to stay? What is your vision? At one point, would you want to relocate to Kenya? Botswana is my home. I can do what I intend to do in Kenya from here. I, I, now move. And that is daring abroad. For KTN, I'm Alex Chamwada.